Hey guys. So, oh thank you, Maya, thank you. So it's been a while since I posted why you may ask all the millions of fans out there that are patiently awaiting a new video. Well, because I've been busy. I've been busy with my work. <sighs> it has been a whole lot to do out here in the garden until now, and I'll get to that later, but took the family to Disneyland. Uh, it was fun, you know. Um, the mother-in-law, she was really nice. She uh, paid for pretty much the whole trip. Paid for Disneyland, which is really expensive. Uh, the Disney, we stayed at the Disneyland Grand Californian, which is incredibly expensive, but a very nice hotel. Um, so yeah, now I'm back. Um, I'm going to winterize uh, the garden. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, so as you can see, things have maybe changed a little bit since I've last uh, filmed here. Um, this is my backyard. You can see all these weeds growing where there's rock. And my lawn's a little greener. <laughs> um, I decided to uh, use, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's like a weed and feed from Home Depot. It's not really organic. It's, you know, smells like a major chemical, like a chemical spill when you use it. But um, I used it and it really, it helped um, make the long grasses grow better. You know, like these fescues, like that's what I want to grow. And I want that to spread. What I don't want to grow is this stuff here, this crabgrass. I hate that stuff. But it kind of killed it back a little bit. And now it seems like the crabgrass is growing back, but whatever, it's a lot cheaper than getting sod in here. I mean, to sod this lawn, then I'd still have to deal with, you know, those gophers right over there. Um, so I'd have to go for wire, but sod in here would be just incredibly expensive. I don't know how much that would be. I mean, why well, I could measure out the yard and figure that out, but I know it'd be well over a couple grand, I'm sure. And later, you know, to hire, especially to hire a crew to do it. I could do it myself, but that's a lot of sod right there to lay. And then I can't, you know, unless I go for wired it, I can't guarantee the gophers wouldn't come up. Anyway, back to what we're going to do today. I'm going to mow the lawn today. That's easy. We're going to pull, try to pull as many of these weeds as possible. I'm probably going to start over here. And, uh, yeah, start... Start right here in this area, right where this irrigation equipment is just kind of proudly sticking up. And you can see the guard, yeah. And then go make my way over here, try to go where my canoe is that we never got to use this year. We have a brand new canoe we never got to use just because of fire. That's what ruined our trip. We had the canoe, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, and work my way, see how far I get today on these weeds, where basically where all the rock is and stuff, where they're, cause I want to add more rock here. That's part of winterizing the yard and see all these bare spots, all these mud spots here. I wanna like cover all those. Cause I, our winter here, we're in California zone 9B. So we don't get any snow, but we sure get, um, when it rains, it does pour. And then the sun comes out and then all these weeds just start popping up. Really great for growth, but, and I just don't like mud. Um, I don't like, I like nice, a nice rocky area that, you know, we don't have to walk in muddy puddles or anything. It's just it's like rock. Uh, yeah. So, oh, by the way, you can see the pickle pin. It's all kind of weeded in right now, which is a good thing because <clears throat> what I'm going to do is let those weeds grow pretty soon. Probably this week here, I'm going to get a load of uh, mushroom compost and actually pile it on top of these weeds. So you won't see any of these weeds. You'll just, it'll just be a mushroom compost. I'll, I'll probably make a video of that and it'll amend the soil. And I want to leave those good weeds in there because I'm going to till it in. I'm just going to mix it in and uh, that'll be a good, good bed for pickles next year. Um, but yeah, you can see I have more weeding to do around the back here. Oh my gosh, I'll, <laughs> let's, let's, I'll give you a tour here. I've never shown you guys this area. I don't think I have, maybe I have, but back here, this is a disaster. Okay, I got a bunch of like firewood here left by the previous homeowner. I just kind of like to burn that off slowly. Um, but look at this, look at that mess. It's all berry vines, right? All a bunch of berry vines. The contractor that we had working here left a bag of trash. Oh, I have to throw that away. Anyway, but I need to clip all that and I'll make a probably a video of that. But uh, today, I want to focus on where we normally walk and that's just like over here i want to winterize the garden i want to like get all these like patches of bare dirt 
filled right where Nagaruski is. Right over there too. Oh yeah, yeah, got my work cut out for me because so I'm by myself. Maybe I'll call up my nephew. So yeah, all these weeds. You guys remember, all the millions of fans out there probably remember me showing off my uh, garden tool. I've got four of these bad boys because I found a really good deal. And I love this tool so much. It is my favorite, by far my favorite garden tool. It's just a mini pick. It's light. You can just chop weeds out, you know, without disturbing too much of the soil. See, because I don't want to like, you know, you can see right here. I want to get this weed out, right? It, it was like nothing with this thing. But yet, because this thing's so awesome, I could just move back the, it doesn't like disturb. It's almost like nobody was here. You know, when you use this thing, it doesn't disturb the, the rock too much when you use this, but yet it effectively gets out the weed that you want to get out because it's got this really sharp edge. And for really hard work, it's got this pick here and this is solid high carbon steel. I'm going to post a link in the bottom of this video. It'll be my first link I posted. Uh, I found the best deal on getting these. These are the genuine deal. The Kus they're called Kusakishi, uh, garden hose and, um, they're made in Japan. And it is like just high carbon steel, solid head forged. And uh, this company called Hardwick and Sons sells them for like, 20, I think it's like $23 and some odd cents, which is by far the best deal I could find on the genuine article. Way better than uh, any other place actually that I've searched. So get you one of these. I got four of them because one day I'm going to put the whole family to work. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, guys, so we're about to get started here. I'm just going to go over some uh, simple tools real quick that are essential for this kind of work, you know, digging and me kneeling on rock and digging out weeds. Definitely want to get some good knee pads. Uh, I got these at Home Depot for like just real cheap and they're perfectly good. We already went over this and how much I love it. Got some Bluetooth headphones that I can just tune out and not hear the, the sound of, you know, that the whole time and uh, helps, you know, put on what music I like. And then, because we have a bunch of little weeds here, you know, a bunch of little, and dog paws, huh? Uh, little weeds here. Uh, we're gonna use this rake here. Um, you know, little metal rake with really bendable tines. And we're gonna pick it up with what's called a manure fork here. This thing, it'll pick it up, pick up the weeds without picking up too much rocks. You can kind of shake out the rocks, very useful tool. And let's get started. All right, so I think you guys got the idea what happens in that time lapse. So I've got to do that for as long as I could stand it all the way this whole rocky area. You, the idea is, is you use that little kusakishi, kichi, however you pronounce it, Japanese garden hoe, and you use it so it, it like penetrates the soil just enough to get the weed out, but you want to shake out the rocks because the weeds because they're so wet this time of year, they stick to that manure fork. And then you just throw that in a bucket, throw that in your green waste, and you're not wasting expensive rock. Because rock, believe it or not, is expensive. It's, um, you know, you get it from a landscape supply yard and you pay roughly like $100 a yard for rock. So you don't wanna waste it. Um, this is what we wanna keep. So you kinda saw the idea there. I'm gonna take you off a uh, high speed time lapse because there's only so much time lapse that I'm sure anyone could handle. Um, you get the idea. Um, plus, I don't know how to listen to music while I'm filming a time lapse. I could do it, uh, it's called a quick take on a video. I could listen to my music, but um, yeah, I gotta listen to music while I work. So uh, I'll show you the end result. Okay, so after about, I don't know, two hours worth of work in the sun, I got about this much done. Decent amount, it's like 20 feet, 20 by six, five feet of weeding done. Um, that's Sunday. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna mow the lawn and 
maybe call it a day. But uh, this is winterization part one, and uh, not quite done yet with this video. When using power equipment, always wear safety glasses, mainly, well, for safety, also for your comfort, because you do your best work when you're comfortable. Your protection. Let's do this. Well, I think that's all the winterization that I want to do today. Um, mowed the lawn, pulled as many weeds as I really wanted to on a Sunday. Um, to be continued in part two, I will hopefully have all the weeds done because I'll be laying some rock down, putting some mushroom compost over in the garden over there. And yeah, so I want to have a big mud flow in this yard. Um, let me explain one more thing. So when you got a yard, you can see that there's a slight, I don't know if you can see this, like if I go down here, maybe you can see it. There's a slight uphill to my yard. So whenever you have kind of a downhill like this, a gradual one, what you need to do is you need to think about drainage. Because back when we first bought this place, the previous homeowner did not think about drainage. And um, before I built this new fence over here, um, I wanted to dig. So right, basically right, starting right here, where the tip of the blower is all the way follow my finger that we do a right angle right almost right where the stepping stones go right where you see those stepping stones right under there all the way to where you kind of see that little what is that a little bunch of succulents over there there's like a trench over there actually to where that blue pot is that's where the trench goes it goes like right over there and i dug pretty a pretty deep trench it's like a five foot trench from here all the way to there and i put like what's called a drain sock you probably saw that in another video it's like a french drain basically with a um, it's a corrugated pipe with a front with a with a drain sock in there anyway and uh yeah what that does is channel the water underneath the ground when it rains really hard here and it gets all that downhill water and it pushes through there's a retaining wall on my neighbor's yard on the other side of the fence and it comes through, it comes out clear. It's not a big mud flow. So that's a good thing we did here. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's another part of winterization that I've already gotten over with. And uh, so we don't have giant, like big bars of sand coming in here like we used to. That was a pain, so I fixed that. But now I just need some more rock in here to make it look pretty. I need to do some more weeding, obviously. Hopefully next summer I'll post some videos of me and my family using our canoe, which we never got to use. We have a brand new canoe and we never got to take it out. Pretty bummed about that. Um, but I'm sure it's going to work good. We're going to put mushroom compost over here in this bed. I'll weed all this. That'll be easy. I could use a, what's called a um, hula hoe to weed this. That'll go much faster than the rock. I can't do that with a rock because it's just not, it doesn't do as neat of a job. It like really messes, puts more soil on top than I'd like. And then mushroom compost all this. And you'll get to see what that looks like in the next video. Stay tuned.